Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are here on Croydon, the London Transport game and we're going to be looking at my favourite three ways to grind points in this game because a lot of people don't know these exist. And this is your generic way to grind. Driving up the main road, stopping at all the bus stops, picking up all the passengers and you get on average maybe two to four credits per person on the condition you give them the right ticket. And this can be very temperamental at times, you don't know how many passengers will be at each stop, and can also be very slow, especially if the bus stops are far away from each other, or there's a lot of people at a bus stop. That does actually wind me up a bit, when there's lots of people. And here you can see it's a bit glitchy as well, where sometimes the previous bus stop or the next bus stop when you open your doors at a bus stop, the passengers from there will come down. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be looking at trams, taxis and travel mode. So we're looking at taxis first, which is obviously in the cars menu. Now when you first join this menu, there won't be any cars. So you've got to buy one. Now the cheapest ones are about 250 and driving around you get four coins, four um, tickets every half a mile. If you want to upgrade to a taxi that really boosts it, really boosts how many points you can earn but it's a thousand points just to upgrade it. But here's what happens when you do upgrade to a taxi. So you get to spawn wherever you want um, with all your, with any car, um, you've got certain places you can spawn. And then at the bottom right there is a taxi menu. Now if you click on that you've got a bunch of different routes that people want to be picked up from and then dropped off at. Um, as you can see there, there are some that get you up to about 100 um, points or 100 credits just for that one route. Now just for this example, we're going to do an 11 credit route from Manchester Beansgate, which is here, up to Sandylands. So there's a big green box where the passenger wants to get on. you just got to do T or click button at the bottom to let them on. Now similar to the buses you just now follow the arrows all the way to the end point which again will be marked by a big green box. Now I made this route harder than it needed to be I tried to do a funky u-turn here then I sped too much and skidded which is possible in cars more so than the buses as displayed right here. You can quite easily skid if you're going too fast it, that that's just how it works. Anyway, here we are at Sandlands. We're pulling into the drop-off point there, and boom, that's 11 points. Next up, trams. Trams cost between 6,000 and 21,000, which is very expensive, but they do get you 15 points for every stop you stop at. You've got a selection of two routes, one to Lloyd Park, one to Addiscombe, both return to Mitcham Junction. We'll go to Mitcham Junction for today's example. Now in theory, at the end, we should have 790 points. And let's speed it up again, because this is too slow. I do really like the interior of the tram as well. Very cool. They do look good. And you can sort of boast a bit as well, when you have them. Not that, not that I do. Not that I do. I'm not, I'm not that mean. Um, but yeah, these trams cost a lot, you've got to save up for them quite a bit, but they are really nice and rewarding and they do get you lots of points, it's a lot easier to get other buses etc afterwards. Okay, next stop is Mitcham, which is very, very exciting. just went past another tram as well. Now unfortunately at the terminal stations you do have to turn around and then load your passengers if you want to get any points at that station. It's a bit weird, I don't know why. Um, but you can see 775 points, 
turn, we'll exit the vehicle, turn around, load passengers at the other end, and then we'll end up with 790. Just like that. Now this brings us on to our final mode for today, which is travel mode, or our final point grinding possibility way thingy, which is travel mode. Now this you do as a passenger, and you've got to rely to an extent on the other people in the game, and you want to do it in a busier server if possible. You've got more chance of there being a bus or tram spawned in the direction or doing the route that you want. Um, for this we'll do the tutorial one which is from West Croydon to East Croydon. Um, now travel mode you have to use either a bus or tram or both depending on what the clients say. And once you get to your destination you get a good deal of points. I believe this one got either 25 or 75, I can't quite remember which. There's also a good selection of buses that we can get on but we can't get on a tram. Now here I rung up to Poplar Walk to try and get on a night bus, which I missed. So it's now sort of a waiting game until something actually turns up. This is very interesting, I must say. At this point I found Santa which was awesome because I have never met Santa before so I was very very happy with myself for that. I didn't even realise he'd be in a Roblox game in Croydon, I guess I'll have to go to Croydon bus station to see if he's actually there. But then I noticed that there was another bus on its way that would take me in the general direction. Now it wasn't all as it seemed though, because the bus kind of got stuck trying to turn a corner up there. Um, eventually it'll turn up. It will turn up. Here we are. Now this is a 198 to Shirtley, which is probably the second most common route after the 455 to Beddington. 455. Um, I didn't have much faith in this driver, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I mean, we, we pull, pulled out tried to turn onto the main road and you completely missed it. We almost got hit by a tram as well, which was great. Um, but yeah, it was great fun. And this is normally the sort of thing you have to go through when you're doing travel mode as well. You miss that bus stop, shame. And then he misses the right turn here. Now he's going down the tram line. The, uh, and at this point I just give up and decide to walk the rest of the way. But that, uh, apologies, that did sort of turn into like an analysis video of some terrible driving. Um, but yeah, that that dude was terrible. But obviously we've, we've been on the bus, we've done the bus bit. So now we can just walk the rest of the way. Easy enough. It's annoying there's no sprint option, but so be it. We up the steps, didn't even realise I'd done that. And there we are, there's the blue circle dome thingamajiggity doodle, which will get us our points. All we have to do is walk up to it and click on it, or E. And they go 25 points. Now, as they get harder, they increase in difficulty, and you get more rewards for them. But thanks for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you use these modes and methods in future, and you'll thank me later. You you will, promise. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.